Computer codes are used for internal representation of data in computers. As computers use binary numbers for internal data representation, computer codes use binary coding scheme. In binary coding, every symbol that appears in the data is represented by a group of bits. The group of bits used to represent a symbol is called a byte. As most modern coding scheme uses 8 bits to represent a symbol, the term byte is often used to mean a group of 8 bits. Commonly used computer codes are BCD, EBCDIC, ASCII, etc. So let's discuss about the ASCII code in this video. ASCII abbreviated from American Standard Code for Information Interchange is a character encoding standard for electronic communication. ASCII uses numeric code to represent characters. That's mean each and every character that we see in a keyboard that is capital ABCD, small ABCD, 1, 2, 3, 4, any type of punctuations, everything are represented by a numeric code. It includes upper and lower case English letter, numbers, punctuations and symbols. Standard ASCII. Standard ASCII can represent 128 characters. It uses 7 bits to represent each character since the first bit of the byte is always 0. So the bit representation of the first ASCII will be like this say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7, 0. Then it will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 1. So it will continue up to 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So 7, 1. So if you convert it into decimal, so it will be 0. If you convert it into decimal, this will be 1. And if you convert the last ASCII, it will give you 127. So by using this 7 bit, we can generate 128 ASCII from 0 to 127 and look here I have written the first bit of the byte is always 0 so if we consider it as a byte then just write down 0 in front of each 7 bit ASCII so it will become an 8 bit ASCII since we are ignoring the first bit so the ASCII are represented by the 7 bit only now let me show you some of the ASCII. It is not possible for me to write down each and every ASCII from 0 to 128. So the most commonly used or the ASCII that we are going to use in the Python program are uh, that is the ASCII of space is 32, ASCII of 0 is 48, ASCII of 1 is 49 and so on. So the ASCII of 9 will be 57. So there is an another range of capital letters that are quite useful. Now the ASCII of capital letter A is 65 and the ASCII of capital J is 90. So 65 to 90 is the ASCII of capital A to Z and the ASCII of small a to Z is from 97 to 122. So apart from this there are uh, a number of characters already present in our system and each and every character has some ASCII and it is in between 0 to 127. Next, let me show you how to convert a word to binary. Suppose you are given a word bed, B-E-D, all are in capital letter. So how to convert it into binary? First of all, let me draw this table, which has three column, letter, decimal, and binary. So let me write down B, E and D in the later column. So what will be the decimal that is the ASCII of B? As we know that the ASCII of capital A is 65, then the ASCII of capital B will be 66, ASCII of C will be 67, D will be 68, obviously E will be 69 and so on. So the decimal of B will be 66. Let me write down 66 over here. Then the ASCII of E is 69, 69 and the ASCII of D is 68. 
Now we are going to convert this decimal number to its corresponding binary value. Since it is a 7 bit representation, let me write down the power of 2 like this 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. This is this 1 means 2 to the power 0, 1, 2 to the power 1 means 2, 2 to the power 2 means 4, 2 to the power 3 means 8, 2 to the power 4 means 16, 2 to the power 5 means 32, and 2 to the power 6 means 64. So there are 7 bit representation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now the first one is 66. That means 64 plus 2 will give you 66. So write down 1 under 64 and 2 and write 0 in other places. So this is the binary of 66. Next convert 69 to its binary. 69 means 64 uh, plus 4 plus 1. So that will be 69. So just write down 1 under 64, then under 4 write down 1 and write down 1 under this 1 and write 0 in other places. So this is the binary of 69. Now convert 68. So it will be 64 plus 4, it will be 68. So write down 1 over here and under 4 write down 1 and write 0 in other places. B, E, D, all are in capital letter, will be converted to binary like this 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, and then 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So this is the binary coded form of the word BED. Next, let me show you how to convert a given binary coded message into a word. You have to convert each seven digit binary number to the corresponding decimal number. So the first one is 1000101. So what you have to do, you have to write the power of two from left to right, just write down one, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 and 64. So just sum up all the numbers which are placed above 1. So this will be 64, 4 plus 1. So it will be 60, 4 plus 4, 8, 1, 69. So this will be 69. And convert this number 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So if you convert it like this, you will get 97 and triple one zero one zero zero in the same way convert it into decimal so it will become one one six so this decimal number are nothing but the ascii value of some character so what does the 69 signify so 69 represent capital e as we know that capital a to z has ascii from 65 to 90 and small a to z has ascii 97 to 122 now 97 is the ascii of small letter a so just write down a and since z is 122 so 116 will be the ascii of small t just count backward you will get 116 uh, which will be the ASCII for T. So this will be EAT. So this binary coded message represent the word EAT. It extended ASCII. The 128 that is 2 to the power 7 characters supported by standard ASCII are enough to represent all standard English letter number and punctuation symbols. However, it is not sufficient to represent all special characters and characters from other languages. Extended ASCII helps to solve this problem by adding an extra 128 values for a total of 256 2 to the power 8 characters. If we include this first bit with our 7 bit ASCII, so it will become a 8 bit ASCII and it is called extended ASCII. So by considering all the 8 bits, you will get 2 to the power 8 that is 256 ASCII, which will range from 0 to 255. Finding ASCII value in Python. 
in python two functions are provided to find the ascii of any character and to find the character of any ascii so ord is the function to find the ascii of any character this ord function accept a string of length one and it will give you the ascii or the decimal value of that corresponding character and the chr function will accept some ascii value and it will return the corresponding character so let me show you by typing these two function in the python interpreter now if you write ord within bracket and since we are going to write a string so write down within a single quote capital a so it will return 65 so if you write ord within bracket if you write say small a it will give you 97 if you write ord within bracket inverted comma then write down 0 so the ascii of 0 will be 48 so like this you can display the ascii of any character of your choice now suppose you want to see the character of the corresponding ascii so what you will do you have to use the chr command just write down chr and write down 65 then give enter it will give you a if you write chr suppose uh, say 36 so it will give you the dollar sign if you write chr within bracket say uh, 97 it will be written small a subscribe to my channel online technical mentor and press the bell icon for latest update thank you